So hello again. Welcome back to another Writerly Witterings. Um, this time talking about my books again. And what a brilliant book this was. Chapel of Bones. Look at that. Lovely, lovely cover. Very imaginative cover. Hardback, paperback. This cover is now being redesigned. Headline of producing a new cover for all of the middle 15 books in the backlist. So if you see it up shortly and it doesn't doesn't look quite like that don't worry if it's got Michael Jackson on the bottom it's still the Chapel of Bones. This one came about because while doing some research um, I came across this story of an ancient murder in um, Exeter Cathedral and because this is going back to the late 1200s um, this is what company politics used to be like really a bit more bloodthirsty than nowadays. Um, what happened was that there was a bishop in Exeter who had real problems with his dean. He didn't like his dean. The dean was a guy called um, John of Exeter, quite a lot, which gives you a hint about where he came from. John Pycott, his name was. And he had several difficulties for the bishop because he was the treasurer as well as the dean. It was illegal in those days, according to church law, to have more than one job. So the fact that he had two was a little bit iffy. Uh, but the other thing was that he was very keen on improving his own position in the world. He liked money and the people of Exeter liked him because he was an Exeter-born boy. So this was a difficulty for the bishop. And so the way that he hit upon to try to control the dean was to have a new position created, that of precentor. And he imposed a man called Walter de Lechlade, Walter from Lechlade, uh, as the precentor, which is fine as a concept, but Walter was a little bit aggressive as a character. So when um, the dean went into the choir, for example, and went to sit in his choir stall, Walter de Lechlade would be sitting there already and blocking it so the dean couldn't take his own seat. Um, and things really escalated rather badly until one day very early in the morning just after matin so when all the canons were walking back across cathedral close at about two in the morning roughly a group of 20 men suddenly set upon walter de lechlade and murdered him he was stabbed and beaten to death and they did a bit of research into this and, and they couldn't get an answer as to who might be responsible mainly because the investigations were largely in the hand of the dean and his friends after a while, though, the bishop petitioned the king, Edward I, to come and listen to the case. So the king, petitioned by the bishop and also Walter de Lechley's brother, went down to Exeter. They arrived on the day before Christmas Eve. They opened the court on Christmas Eve itself, um, listened to all the evidence, and then on Boxing Day executed a whole bunch of people and imprisoned a load of others because it was quite obvious that... Um, this was a set of, as I say, company politics gone horribly wrong. Walter de Lechlade was murdered by the Dean's friends, and we know that they were the Dean's friends because some of the people who confessed and were put in prison were the vicars of Ottery St Mary and the vicar of Hevetry. Not very nice people, presumably. So, that led me into thinking, wow, what a fascinating story, and how could I use that? So the whole of this book is based upon that hideous murder and what might have happened afterwards. Really good fun, all based on true story. This is not... Uh, I have had people say, oh, this is awful, You're, um, you've really got a downer on the church and vicars and so on. No, it's just that, basically, going back in these days, roughly one-third of the male population of the country was in the church in some way or another, either as canons or brothers or vicars or lay brothers or workers. So if you look upon one third of the UK's population at that time being in the church, some of them were crooks. I'm afraid that's just the way life is. So hope you enjoyed that. If you want to add comments, put any questions in or anything else, have a look down there. You can put your comments in underneath and I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers.